Good morning. I am Yvette Mullins. And I am Tashira Dukes with LMBC TV. And these are your weekly announcements. There will be no eating or drinking in the sanctuary at any given time. First Sunday of each month will be our combined worship service. Sunday church school begins at 8.30 a.m. And our worship begins at 10 a.m. Our second through fifth Sunday, we have our first worship service, which starts at 8 a.m., Sunday church school begins at 9.30 a.m. And our midday worship service begins at 11 a.m. Every Wednesday is our Word Enrichment Wednesday, known as Bible Study. We will have that at 12 p.m. and 7 p.m. Every Saturday is our shop, Sweet Hour of Prayer, from 10 to 11 so please come out and pray with and for us. Leonard can be seen every Monday and every Friday at 9 p.m. on channel 198 on Charter Communications. Also, LBC can be heard every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on Gospel 1600. Every fourth Saturday is Sister to Sister meetings, and we meet every fourth Saturday at 1130 a.m. Please do not use tithe envelopes for givelified donations. We have slips especially for this purpose, which can be obtained from any usher. At this time, we will head over to Marcus with some current events. The youth will be going to the Muni. The shows will be every Monday from now until the end of August. See Sister Waikita White or Sister Veronica Marshall. Flyers are in the vestibule. St. Louis County Library and Operation Food Search are providing free lunches to kids this summer from now until August. For more information, call 314-994-3300. Taking it to the streets is fast approaching, and it is time to order your jersey. See Sister Bridget Dukes for more information and to place your orders. The Antioch District's 110th Annual Session will be July 26th through July 30th at Calvary Church located at 2822 Martin Luther King Drive. That's all from me. I'm Marcus Jordan with LNBC TV, and we'll take you back to the studio with your vet to share. All ministry leaders, please remember to check your mailbox before the end of the month. Anything left in your mailbox will be discarded. The June Birthday Club will meet today after morning worship service, and on June the 28th, the June Birthday Club will present Old Ship of Zion, which will start at 3 p.m. Let's remember to support our birthday clubs. July 6th through the 9th is the Missouri State Congress of Christian Education at the Inn at Grand Glaze in Osage Beach, Missouri. Tuesday, July 7th from 6 to 7 p.m., our own Minister Davis will be at the Renaissance for the one-hour watch service, and she would love someone to come out and support her. She is there every Tuesday. Saturday, July 11th, will be the Vacation Bible School kickoff from 12 to 5 p.m. Food, fun, and fellowship will all be at this event, so please bring your children and anyone else you know. Also, on July 11th at 11.15 a.m., our youth will rehearse for Youth Day. On Sunday, July the 12th, will be our Youth Annual Day. We will have service at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., so please let's remember to come out on July the 12th and support our youth. And the assessment is $11 per youth person. Vacation Bible classes will begin on Monday, July the 13th, and will end July 17th. Classes will begin promptly at 6.30 p.m. nightly. On July the 11th will be our Vacation Bible School kickoff from 12 to 5. Please remember to come out, bring the kids, and let's have a good time. On Sunday, July the 19th, Bishop will bring the message for Reverend Kenneth Steele's pastoral anniversary, and that will take place at the Anointed Deliverance Christian Assembly, located at 4068 Parker. Sunday, July 26th at 3 p.m., 
Pastor will bring the message at New Dora Church, located at 4301 North Market Street, for Pastor Dale Watson's anniversary. Save the date. October 3rd, we will have our annual sister strut for our own first lady who's a breast cancer survivor. Good morning, family. I am reporting live from LNBC TV, and my name is Irene Smith Hall. Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is good hand washing. Good hand washing is so important because it prevents the spread of germs from one person or place to another. Very good examples of hand washing include, but are not limited to, before and after a meal, before preparing a meal, and after using the restroom. It is so important to prevent the spread of germs because there's so many diseases nowadays that hand washing, a simple thing as as simple as hand washing, can prevent the spread of those germs. I know we love hand sanitizers, and they're okay. I don't like them personally, but if you just cannot wash those hands, most of us have this little bottle with us. You can use the hand sanitizer only until you get to a sink to wash your hands. And the proper way to use the hand sanitizer is as such. Make sure you saturate your hand, palms and top, and then let it air dry. Let your hands air dry. Hand sanitizers are okay. But nothing, and let me repeat that, absolutely nothing takes the place of good old-fashioned soap and water. Those are your weekly announcements. Please remember to govern yourselves accordingly. Remember, every day is a good day. Some days are just better than others. When we are down to nothing, our almighty God is always up to something. Let's not forget to pray for our sick and shut-in and those in their hour of bereavement. You stay classy, Leonard Baptist. Have a blessed week.